everybody. Let's talk about the Indianapolis Colts from a fantasy perspective. And you can't talk Colts without starting about talking about Andrew Luck. Adam Rank, I've been an advocate of taking Andrew Luck or Aaron Rodgers in the first round. Tell me why or why not. I am crazy. I like that idea. Andrew Luck, when you want to talk about the first round, you want a consistent score each and every week. And there are none more consistent than Andy Luck. And I really, I really like this strategy because there is so much risk so much uncertainty with these guys. You just never know what's going to happen. But Andrew Luck, and he's getting better each and every week. And I will I will point this out, too. Make sure you know your league scoring. Because if you play in a league where you are rewarded with six points for a touchdown pass, then I can say he might be the number one overall pick. Wow. I know. It's, it's, not, um, uh, you know, it's not infeasible. That's a word, right? Uh, you know, <laughs> it's not impossible that he could be the number one overall pick <laughs> in a situation like that. The one thing I would like to see him change is right. get that number of interceptions down. Right. Uh, it was, it's an alarming number of picks for a guy who is an elite quarterback. But certainly if he's there beyond the second round, I would be shocked. The thing is, he's such a star. And he's, I mean, he's just an absolute megastar. People forget he got drafted in the same year as RG3. Mm -hmm. He's still a very young player. So you mentioned the interceptions. I see that total going down. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter if it goes down or not because I'm not drafting Andrew Luck until uh, maybe the third round, but that's just me. <laughs> All right, how about Andre Johnson, though? Where are you taking a, a, the, an aging wide receiver, mm -hmm. but clearly the best offense he's ever played in? I would say between round six and eight, depending on how many teams are in your league. I actually like him this year. I don't like him more than T.Y. Hilton, who just got a contract suspension. Sure. But Andre Johnson's got something to prove. He wasn't utilized last year in Houston uh, like he thinks he deserved to be. And, yes, he's getting a little long in the tooth, but it's not like he's 36, 37 years old. And I think he could end up being a pretty good third wide receiver. Is there any argument that he's never played with a better quarterback? Than Very good Luck? point. Uh, how about Frank Gore, though? You talk about a guy who's 36, 37. I think Frank Gore is about 47 years old. No, no, he's only 32. You, he's okay. not that old. He's not that old. Uh, for, you know, I am not high on Frank Gore this year, but I know you are. Because, again, he's never played with a better quarterback. He's never played in a better offense. I mean, this is a guy who was seeing eight men in the box all the time, more than any other running back in the league. Now you bring in a guy who's going to have Andrew Luck throwing on the football. Forget about stacking the box. Andrew Luck will absolutely kill you. And if we remember last year, Ahmad Bradshaw was pretty darn good in yeah. fantasy before he got hurt. Even this Vic a, Ballard was a fan. This is a guy who was an RB2 and a really good one. Then he got hurt. I think Frank Gore is worth a third-round pick this year wow. as an RB2. Holy cow. No, I love him. I think he's going to be huge this year. Third-round pick, RB1 for sure. All right, there you go. That's our Indianapolis Colts fantasy preview. For more, sign up today right now for free, NFL.com slash fantasy.